How's it everybody? Welcome back to the Rocky Fern. My name is Luca and I have OI Type 4. And if you're new here, I post videos every Tuesday and Friday about my uh, garden collection um, that I keep indoors and outdoors here in beautiful um, Hawaii on the island of Kauai. And uh, sometimes I do other cool stuff. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing from one of my favorite, favorite Etsy shops, the Green Escape out of uh, Florida. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the box. Pretty typical um, from what you get um, when you order a package from the Green Escape. Um, they have always will have a sticker on there, and then they kind of wrap their um, shipments a little different than from other people I've seen. Um, they wrap them in paper, and we'll get into that as we open it. Um, what I ordered was um, just some replacement plants for ones I've lost, and. Um, a pretty rare skin dapsis, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, but I've ordered so many things from the Green Escape, and I love them. The prices are amazing. They always have different things, new exciting things. So if you're on the fence um, or want to check out a new retailer for some cool plants, it's definitely time to check out the Green Escape. Um, they always communicate pretty well. The only thing with them is that they're kind of slow to ship, but I think it's because they do so many shipments that it takes about 10 days to ship out on average, although this box shipped out really quickly. Um, but I don't mind waiting because the quality and the experience has been very consistent every single time. So uh, this is just some heavy duty paper just for some padding, I think. Oh no, wait, something might be in here. No, nothing's in there. Okay, so we'll reuse that paper, why not? Some more paper, some more. I like that. Uh, I like that it's um, paper. You, you know that it's very um, biodegradable. Is what I'm trying to say. They always have a, a ship slip in here. Who shipped it? And your it says your order was grown with love by Scott, and then your order was packaged with care by Stan. So you too, thank you very much. And that has some new plant care instructions. I am sweating like crazy because I have the AC off because it's too loud to hear, but let's get into that. There's another rim of paper. That's the first time I've seen that done before, but the plants come in very, very protected. And I can, I can recycle all that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get into this first plant. This is how they typically ship all their plants. And a lot of their plants are plugs. So they are small, but they are healthy and they grow quite well. And uh, they're always shipped just like this. So they have the name of the plant right here. This is obviously Hoya pneumularioides. And it's always um, kind of stuck with a sticker. Uh, let me see if I can get it to focus. And yeah. So typically if you can open that part, the rest will just unfold like this. And oh wow, look at that. Ah, oh, such a, I really like Hoya pneumolarioides. Pneumolarioides, yep. It's, it looks like pneumolaria plant, which a lot of, there's a discadia that looks like this too. But you can see, um, that's gorgeous right there. Actually, I'm gonna move the box real quick and we'll just start putting your plant. It is an ant plant. Um, and they do, the nice thing about these guys is a lot of shops, um, don't give you the scientific name and that kind of, it kind of irks me. So, but these guys do a great job at giving you the scientific name. Um, I think for most of their plants, um, cause there's so many different species of ant plant that, you know, you know, it's such a common, um, it's such a common name that you don't know what genus or species you're getting. And that's really the important part. But, um, I ordered one of these a couple, uh, like a month ago and it didn't survive the shipment, but they were great to work with. Um, I really wanted to try to nurse that plant back to health, but it just, it wasn't gonna make it, um, unfortunately. But um, it was all rotted at the, um, at the Cadissa form. But this one's doing really well. So um, thank you very much. So basically I, I told them, hey, it didn't, it didn't survive shipment and they're great to work with. They said uh, they could offer a refund or a replacement. And um, so I, I obviously wanted a replacement. So yeah. Very easy, so I made another shipment because I love them and I love plants and why not? And uh, yeah, so this guy is, oh, this is an anthurium. Um, I've always wanted to get this anthurium and a few years ago this was big ticket um, anthurium. 
Um, it's an older anthurium, meaning it's been in the hobby for a long time, and it's always demanded pretty good pricing. But what's cool about this anthurium, it is a bird's nest anthurium. It gets super dark leaves, super, super dark leaves. And so that adds a nice palette um, texture to your, to your garden. So this is, oh wow, look how big this plant is. Uh, let's do it this way. This is Anthurium Superbum. Look at those roots, my gosh. Those are crazy roots. So yeah, and they're always, like I said, most of these plants are plugs. Not all of them, you can buy bigger plants. But most of these are plugs and they, they do a really good job over there, man. Really good job. So I don't know what your guys' thought process is on, you know, plug soil plugs, if they're good or bad, but I, I don't know if I've had any experience with them being bad. So I'm kind of on the fence, if anything. Uh, I think they're just, they're just fine. Okay, so there's those three. Kind of a cool little texture there. Okay, so this is a four inch plant, so it's a little bit bigger. And they have everything from plugs to full mature plants. I think it just depends on what you want to ship, you know? Or what your, how deep your pockets are. But if you're anything like me, you're buying plants, you don't have very deep pockets. Okay. Let's, uh, cut this bad and I hope with me being sick it's not coming across that way you know what I mean sound sick Ugh. but all right let's get this thing open here oh. okay ooh ooh this is a really pretty alocasia. I'm gonna kind of shake this material back in, open it up. And I will not be replanting this alocasia right away. I've learned my lesson on that and I'm just going to um, let it recover, especially alocasia. Most plants I can actually replant just fine, but not so with alocasia. So this is mellow, alocasia mellow. Oops. And I'll clean that up, but look at that. Look at the freaking firm texture on this. Now I did have a mellow, and it did not make the shipment. It lasted maybe 10 days, and then it melted on me. So, oh, sorry, this is a uh, rugosa, not mellow. Mellow is a little bit more silver. I think that's a hybrid. Rugosa is a species, and it's typically pretty dark. So, yeah, but anyway. It kind of looks like scalpum too. Uh, it just doesn't get the very long lancelet leaves. It has a typical like jewel alocasia leaf. Um, okay, so then there's this guy. This is a Malaysian orchid. I don't know, I don't remember ordering that. Oh, that's cool though. Doesn't look like an orchid, it looks like a Medanilla. Medanilla. How do you guys say that? Medanilla or Medanilla? It's double L and I speak Spanish, so uh, let me check. There's also an invoice that gets shipped with it. And, oh yeah, oh, so this is Medani Medani hmm. Medanilla Mariantha, the Malaysian orchid. So that's gonna be very cool. Yeah, these guys get really big, red, beautiful flowers. Um, and I like my Med Medanilla, so. There's that guy. And oh, speaking of scalprum, my scalprum did not make the repot. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but that was also, I repotted and then left for almost three weeks. And I had a very good friend watching it and you never know what happens. You know, one day it got too hot, one day it didn't get watered enough, it got too much water. Um, so unfortunately it melted away and I didn't have any corms out of that um, alocasia. So unfortunately I had to buy a new one, but buying plants makes you happy. No, I, 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 I mean that jokingly, but you know, getting a new plant does boost your serotonin levels, that's for sure. So this is the scalpel. Mine was much bigger than this, but this guy will 
will grow and be big in, in no time. So like I said, I'm gonna leave that, that plug on there. And uh, yeah. All right, we have only one more plant, I think. Nope, two more. Maybe more than that. Nope. And I will say this, if you check out Green Escape, uh, make sure to read the, the descriptions because sometimes there's an Easter egg in there and they have discount codes. So, oh no, this guy is not doing happy. It's not doing well, I'm not, not doing happy, okay. Let's go with that. This is the skin dapsis um, snake skin. And I have one already that I ordered, but this is gonna go into a prop box for sure, but the first leaf is, is no good. Oh, there it goes. But this new growth is doing great. So this new growth is strong and healthy and that's a very good plug, very good plug. So skin dapsis, snake skin, which is also known as hask, which I think means snake skin. Um, it's a very cool skin dapsis. I love skin dapsis, and yeah, there's that. And peleone, oh, this is a cool terrarium plant. I am gonna work on building a, a pretty big terrarium. I may end up doing a highland vivarium in that design uh, with maybe a cooling wall, but we'll see. But uh, this is a very cool terrarium plant. This is um, uh, Polonia pucra. And cool little creeping, beautiful foliage plant. And uh, yeah, I think it'll go, go very well. So this is our hall um, right here. And all the plants came in super healthy, so Green Escape, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing too many more unboxing videos. We do have an, a pretty epic Hoya unboxing, hopefully soon, um, coming from Indonesia. It's my first import uh, from Aeroid Asia. The first shipment, that was no good. So it got caught in customs um, for bugs and they had to destroy it, but they're replacing the order. It's going through their phytosanitation process. Hopefully it comes out clean. Please, please, please. But that's gonna be an epic video. Um, but like I said, I post every Mondays and Friday. And if you like what you see, definitely give a thumbs up, subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. We've been growing way more than I thought we could, and that's like, super exciting. The boys are super excited. Um, if there's a plant you wanna see a specific Show Me the Green um, species profile episode on, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, I would definitely be more than happy to do that. And as always, if you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.